going guys. I've just walked. Oh, it's still on me. Just walked through. God. A spider web. Oh man. It is everywhere. Oh. Anyway. <clears throat> Getting the golf cart out. There's crickets everywhere too. All over the place. Gotta unplug it. Yeah. So get my keys. So it is uh, Monday morning getting the golf cart and getting ready to head to the store real quick and then um not sure what's going on today. So it is Monday morning and I didn't I didn't get up and do any type of exercise today because I was trying to recover from yesterday's run which was kind of tough. I mean it I don't know. I mean it wasn't it wasn't my worst training run but it definitely wasn't my best. But it was kind of tough. But anyway, it gave me time to just lay in bed and chill and watch some Netflix. Which if if um, you're like a skate fan or a Chris Cole fan. I watched uh, a documentary about Chris Cole. It was basically his story called Motivation. You should check it out. It's good stuff. But anyway, well, we got we got our monster, of course. I'm gonna do a time lapse. I'm trying to, I got my windshield up in the golf cart, trying to reduce the wind. So I hope that's working. And uh, back to. Uh, try to get out and do a run in the morning. We'll see how that goes. My, my legs are jacked up, man. I, that run was tough. Yesterday I had 11 miles. But anyway, we'll see how that goes. So, I had to do a time lapse and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. And another thing I was, I was asked um, a question the other day. Well, a couple of people, I guess, had come to my channel and there's, they said, um, you know, I came here because, you know, under the impression that it's a running channel. And I mean, it is a running channel. I, I'm i a runner and I post a lot of my running and training and just any exercise I do, biking and skating, I post a lot of that on the channel, but it is a daily vlog channel as well. So I'm a runner doing a daily vlog about just random stuff that I'm doing throughout the day or my training or whatever. I do still try to give like running tips and advice that works for me as a runner, but it's not just a running channel. It's, I mean, there's a whole lot of things going on in this channel. So, people are misled thinking it's a runner vlog, but it's not just about running. It's it's about a lot of things. So. Anyway, uh, you know, so if, if you're coming to my channel hoping to see nothing but running, you're in the wrong place because there's a lot of stuff going on in this channel, so. And I still keep looking at the viewfinder. I need to look here at you guys, not over here at myself. So, I gotta get used to that. I need to like... Put, shut your viewfinder. I could shut the viewfinder, but I like looking over there to make sure I'm in frame. But I need then to, you're looking at it. Huh? But then you're looking at it. I know. <laughs> but I need to look at this most of the time. As long as I can tell I'm in frame, I need to look here. I should put like a little, little birdie or something up there. Something for me to stare at. Okay. Alrighty, so I just finished my time lapse and I just tried to let me straighten the camera. And I just tried to put this crazy kid in a tree like four or five times. She, that little tiny tree, she couldn't get into on her own. So I was gonna put her in this bigger tree over here, and it wasn't happening. And it wasn't my fault. I picked her up, tried to set her in there. She freaked out every time. You'll see it. We got my wife got some some iPhone footage of me trying to put her in that tree. I'll include it in the video today.
time lapse in these awesome clouds over here. It's really a nice day. Like I thought it was gonna be hot today, and it's it's really not hot. You think it's hot? Sitting right here. Yeah. I think it's a nice breeze, which you're probably totally picking up on the microphone. That irritates me. That is my pet peeve of recording, is wind. Wind air. I hate it. And it's probably picking it up. It's probably picking up all this. I think I'm in, in a good spot right here. Maybe not. I don't know. We're, we're, we're out in the, like in the big open, too. so It stresses me out a little bit. Anyway, finished my time lapse, and... Maybe me and Emily escape today, I don't know. I'll try to find something exciting to do today. What do you think? You wanna eat this? What is it? A leaf? No, I'm not hungry. So we're heading out to our um, local fairgrounds. Um, there's a, a carnival that comes every year for four or five days, and I think they're setting up. So that's our local carnival, the fair is what we call it. It's um, starting uh, Wednesday, and I will definitely be getting footage of <clears throat> um, with GoPro footage, on ride, on ride footage of some of the rides with me and my daughter and my wife. We're gonna, yeah, definitely when I'm on rides, I'll have the GoPro going. So that'd be kind of cool. Get like a, a POV of, of the carnival rides. But yeah, that's that's this week. The fair opens up this week. So that's cool. But that that definitely marks the end of summer for people from Fairbury, Illinois, because right after that, the next week is school starts, and it's been that way since I was a kid. So <clears throat> the fair gets here, you, you have one last shebang of summer with the fair, which is fun, expensive, but fun. And then and then it's school, so, and it's crazy that, that, that summer is just zipped by, like, I, blow, I, I mean, it just seems like summer just started to me. It does, does it to you? Either. Yeah, it doesn't even seem like it should be. Yeah, it's just crazy. The fair is starting, the fair is here, and it's summer is almost over. Then we go into fall and school and schedules and and daughters. That truck right there, zoom in on it. That truck is a Polar Pop truck. That truck's going to be sitting in my driveway for two days. Well, I mean, I'm going to be in it, but that, that truck's going to be in my house. So, um, let me zoom out. Ah. So yeah, my wife is bringing that truck home for two days, which is cool. Those are the perks of <clears throat> her doing what she does for a living. We get to we get to chill with that truck for two days. Yeah. That's cool. I can't imagine you driving that truck. That's a big truck. I know. It's gonna take a little bit to get up in it. My wife's like five foot two. She's gonna be driving a monster truck, and it's gonna be sitting in my driveway. That's cool. Well, That's when. Be... When are you getting that? Next Tuesday. Next week. I'll show it to you. 